Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. First things first before I get into this video, I am filming on a brand new camera. For the longest time I was filming on my iPhone, but lately that has been a very frustrating process because my iPhone just has like no memory at this point. So it was quite the struggle to even film one complete video. So I decided that it was finally time to invest in an actual camera. And so I bought the Canon G7X Mark II. This was recommended to me by Chandler from Chandler Ainsley. And I know a couple of other booktubers use this camera especially for vlogging so I thought it would just be good to get a smaller camera that I could use for vlogging as well as making sit down videos like this. I posted a video I believe last week where I reviewed five graphic novels and so I decided that I thought it would be cool to kind of continue with that idea and review a few books of a certain genre. So today I'm going to review three thrillers. So I did read three very popular thrillers thrillers in the last few days and I did enjoy all three of them although one I did enjoy as much as the other two so I think what I'm gonna do is start with the book that I like the least and then work my way up to the book that I like the most. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay so the first book I want to discuss is The Silent Patient. This is by Alex Michael Leeds. I believe that's how his last name is pronounced. I'm not really sure but also I want to note that all three of these thrillers are 2019 releases as well. So I actually checked out all of these from my library. I've kind of come to the point where I don't really want to buy thrillers anymore because once I've read them once and I know what the twist is I'm most likely not going to want to read it again. So just to tell you a little bit of what this book is about, I'm not going to give very detailed synopses of these books because with thrillers, if I give you the full synopsis that is like on the inside cover or on the back of these books, I just feel like it spoils too much to be quite honest. So the basic premise is that there's this woman named Alicia and she is a pretty well known artist and she's pretty successful. And basically one night her husband gets home late from work and she shoots him five times in the face and ends up killing him and then from then on is just silent. Hence why it is called The Silent Patient. She hasn't spoken for months and months at this point. And then there is this character Theo who is a psychotherapist and he gets a job at the psychiatric hospital that Alicia is staying in because he really wants to work with her and help her. So right after I finished this book I did end up giving it four stars but honestly since I've been thinking about it the past few days I think I'm gonna lower it to 3.5 stars and I'm gonna get into that in a minute but first I am going to talk about the positive things that I did enjoy about this. For one thing I think that this is a really cool and unique premise and what I really like is the writing style and that it's written in really short chapters so it leads you to want to keep reading. I definitely found this very easy to read in just like a day and a half. This is also this author's debut novel and I think that this is a very solid thriller debut and I'm very interested to see how his writing style develops because I really think that he's got something good going for him. So my main gripe about this book is the plot twist at the end and of course that is a very important part of any thriller that you read. You want the plot twist to just blow you away and while the plot twist for this novel was definitely very surprising I think if you haven't read a lot of thrillers you would find this plot twist to be quite shocking. For me it was a little bit of a fail for a few different reasons. So throughout this book this author does a really great job of developing numerous different characters and situations that could lead to the ultimate big plot twist at the end. And it was definitely one of those situations where while I was reading this I was like oh maybe this person did it or maybe this person did it. Like there were just so many little twists throughout and really interesting characters and situations that I thought was going to lead to a really awesome plot twist. But then in the end the plot twist just wasn't all that original to me and I felt that it wasn't developed all that well. Yes it came out of left field and that's usually how a plot twist works well in a thriller but it came so far out of left field in a way to the point where it just wasn't developed well and it wasn't really all that well fleshed out to be quite honest. It just kind of felt like the plot twist happened and you as the reader were supposed to be on board with it even though the author didn't do a great job of leading you to that conclusion if that makes sense. It's really hard to talk about thrill because obviously I can't talk about what the ending is but if you've read this book you will probably know what I'm talking about and I know quite a few people who have been reading this recently some people have been loving it and giving five stars but then there are also people like me who are giving like three maybe four stars and are just kind of annoyed at the ending and I'm definitely more in that 
at camp. So do I recommend this? At the end of the day, yes, because it is a very well written and very well paced thriller that definitely kind of leaves you on the edge of your seat the entire time. For me, the ending fell short, but for you, you may really love this. So I would suggest trying it out. So the next book that I want to discuss is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Oh my lord, <laughs> this is such a reflective cover. How am I gonna hold this? So Ruth Ware is a very popular thriller author, and this is the first book of hers that I have read. And a lot of people have been reading this recently. I think it only came out a couple of months ago, and everybody has pretty much been raving about it. I ended up giving it 4.5 stars. I really did enjoy it, but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the plot. So there is this woman named Rowan, and she essentially gets this nannying job in this house in the Scottish Highlands, which is definitely in a very rural part of Scotland. So she has to take care of ultimately four children for this couple, and one of them is out of the picture for most of the novel, but she does come into play later on. So essentially Rowan basically walks into a nightmare. This is not a spoiler because it's talked about at the very beginning of the novel. So basically at the end of this ordeal, she ends up in prison and is going to be tried for the murder of one of the little girls that she was taking care of. So one very important aspect about this book is that it's definitely really creepy because this house is kind of known to be haunted. And so there are definitely weird things that happen throughout this book, which I think makes it the perfect October slash Halloween read. I love how Ware built up the suspense throughout. I think the pacing was also very well done in conjunction with that. I found the premise to be really compelling. And the ending for me was just really satisfying. I loved the plot twist. And I also love that it is kind of open-ended. If you hate something like that, maybe I wouldn't recommend this book because there is that aspect to it. But for me, it worked really well. And I can't wait to check out more of her books in the future because that's how much I enjoyed it. So yeah, if you're looking for a really good psychological thriller with some horror aspects thrown in, I would definitely, definitely recommend The Turn of the Key. And the last thriller that I want to discuss in this video is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I have actually never read any of Riley Sager's works before, but after reading this, I definitely want to. I also ended up giving this 4.5 stars. The premise of this one definitely drew me in right away, just like Turn of the Key, and there are actually kind of similarities between the two. So this one follows a girl named Jules in Manhattan. So she sees this job posting for an apartment called the Bartholomew, which is a really exclusive and high-end apartment complex that she has actually been dreaming about for quite some time because her favorite book of all time is set in this building. And she goes to the interview and basically the woman tells her that they need an apartment sitter for three months, maybe more, and that she will get paid, I believe, four grand each month, which is a really great salary considering that you don't have to worry about paying utilities or rent or anything like that. So it's definitely a very appealing job for her in both Lock Every Door and The Turn of the Key. Both main characters are kind of desperate for a job in general and so when these jobs come up they definitely want them right away. And she's told by this woman named Leslie, who is a representative of the Bartholomew, that there are some rules to apartment sitting in this apartment building. And one of them is no visitors and you must stay in the apartment at night and no disturbing the other residents because they're all very rich people and they all very much covet their privacy. For me, it wasn't a five star just because the first half wasn't as strong as the second half for me personally. Some aspects of this definitely gave me get out vibes, which is that movie that was directed by Jordan Peele, I believe. And I was just so here for it. The buildup of suspense from about the halfway mark to the end was just perfection in my opinion. And I love that Jules at the end of this book became kind of a badass and she really kind of took matters into her own hands. And I feel like in a lot of thrillers, that's not really the case. I loved all of these small twists throughout, but of course the big twist at the end was so good and so satisfying. The entire ending of this book was just so good and I really really enjoyed that. This is definitely another thriller that I recommend if you're looking for a really good psychological thriller with some creepy aspects to it and a really really great plot twist at the end. All right so that is going to be it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you would consider subscribing and if you do don't forget to push that notification bell button below so that you will be notified every time I upload and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!